Hi, it's Jill with Crickflex. I can't believe this. I was got halfway through my videotape here and my camera started beeping at me and I didn't realize it, uh, but I had not erased my last video. So I have to start all over again and I'm already halfway done. Um, cardstock that I'm using is Paper Stack uh, Recollection Sugar Plum. Um, not sure when this is from. It's I've had it for a couple years. I picked my papers out here. I already started. I was saying how I had already worked on die cuts all day today, um, clip art, because I wanted to be ready to get my grandkids' books caught up. Um, the pages that I used, I picked a green here that has a bunch of writing on it. And children were nestled. Oh, it was the night before Christmas is printed all over it. Um, then I took a striped piece of the cardstock and cut it in strips here, uh, green and white polka dot um, that is three inches wide and then the stripe with the print on it is two inches wide and I outlined each of them with my EK Success um, Snowflake Punch. And oh I went and showed you everything that I had done and the I can't believe I got to start all over again here and well anyway I, I'll tell you what I did is I um, was showing all the clip art all the pieces I got already so that when I start scrapbooking here I can just whip through it pretty quickly um, catching up the grandkids um, I'm still finishing up Nolan's I've only got a couple more pages to go and he'll be caught up however his mother emailed me today to tell me she had another batch of pictures ready for me. So um, once I get caught up on, on his, I'll be able to catch up on my, my grandkids. Anyway, I decided to go with the candy canes that I did, um, which I did with a Google search of clip art for Christmas. And um, since it has the candy up in here in the strip. I decided to use the candy canes on it. And I'm not really sure what I'm going to use of the other clip art I did. I'm going to first see how I'm going to put my pictures. I didn't do this ahead of time. Um, which normally I kind of have an idea uh, of how I'm going to lay it out. This particular time I did not. I'm going to try and... Ooh! That is cute. Sydney is not liking Santa at all. So there we go. Um, these are the pictures I want to get on here. I'm going to have to put that in the bottom. And I will decide what additional pieces I'm going to add after I figure out how I'm going to put the pictures on here. I used, um, from that stack, I used this particular piece for my photo mats of the holly with the glitter on it. Um, it's a nice small pattern. I'm trying to slip this under the snowflake here. I don't know how well that's going to slip and drag it along the way here until I get it to where I need it. And that's not slipping under there that well. And so I'm just going to lay it on top. I'm over it. And I think I'll put this one up in here. One of the reasons being is when I was cutting it, I accidentally cut the corner off. This is what I was saying the other day about making a mistake when you're scrapbooking. It's pretty hard to make a mistake because you can always cover it up. And I've gotten really good at that. So I'll just put that picture over and there we go. It's covered up. Um, I can't decide if I want to put this picture on here. It needs to be in here though because it's um, my friend's it's grandmother and all of her grandkids. And I'm going to need to put that. Maybe I'll do a layout for just that one by itself. Now, what do I want to put here? Do I want to put a tree or do I want to put... Carolers are out. Maybe the little elves would be kind of cute. Um... I got a little boy elf and a little girl elf. Maybe I'll use those. And I got a little boy and a little girl here holding hands. That would be a good one to have because I've got her and him in this picture. 
however, doesn't fit there. Maybe that's one of the reasons I should lay the pictures out before I do them. I'll put the tree there. And then I'm going to say, that's good. And maybe I'll do the little boy and little girl in the next one. I don't know. I'm going to use this tree here, though. Because there is a Christmas tree here, and Santa needs to be sitting by a tree. So there we go with that one. And then let me get the pictures on this one. I feel so bad that I started this and I had a whole bunch of stuff that I was showing you when the old camera started beeping at me and said, No room! There was no room left. I didn't delete the last film that I loaded. I will be so thrilled to have this little guy's book caught up. I think I'll even be more thrilled when I get my my own grandkids' books caught up. I think my kids will love me even more. Okay. Let me see. We're going to go like that. That will work for me. And now we're going to put that. And let me see if I want the elves on this page. Come here, little elf. And I think that I am going to do that. That is my daughter calling, and I'm going to completely ignore her. I don't know if I like that there. Let me see. And it can't go there. Let's see here. Yeah, I'll do him there. I'm not going to pop him up, though. I'm going to just tape him down. And I'm going to kind of put his feet. I think he's tilted. And then I'm going to put her over here. I love doing Christmas pages. Not in July, but I love to do Christmas layouts. There we go. I think that will work. And I'm going to take the picture with Grandma and all the grandkids, and I'll do her all by herself. She will have a page designated to her all by herself. Okay, here we go. I'm going to show you, and this one is done. There's the first one, and there you can see the band across the top with the snowflakes. And here is page number two with the bright light again. I hate how that glares, but I can't film without it. And that is Nolan's first Christmas. So, that'll be it until the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.